Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin Ludwig and I'm a health and wellness coach here at Maine General and I'm here to do a video instruction on mobility. We're going to call this series Monday Mobility and this is in partnership with Peter Alphon Prevention and Healthy Living Center. So today's video, we're going to go over thoracic mobility in particular, but first let's just go over a few things about what mobility is and how it can benefit us. So mobility versus flexibility. Mobility is the ability to move or be moved freely and easily. Flexibility being the quality of bending easily without breaking. Now obviously these two have a lot in common. How I usually separate the two is mobility is mostly active, whereas flexibility is usually considered in a static sense or if we're standing or sitting still. So let's talk about things that can get tight on our body, areas that can get tight and sore, the lower back, the upper back, hamstrings, hips, shoulders, neck, knees, anything really. But these areas are certainly places that a lot of us can be familiar with. And foam, roll, foam rolling and mobility exercises can help with all of these areas. So that's what we're gonna to get to today. In particular, like I've said before, is thoracic mobility, which is really starting with the trunk of the body. The thoracic cage plays a pivotal role in overall posture, upper limb function, and breathing. You can imagine how the rib cage is wrapped around our lungs, and with its only other attachment point being the spine, breathing and mobility in this area of the rib cage can affect how we move, how comfortable that movement is. And without further ado, we're going to get to three different mobility movements. All right, so let's get to those three movements uh, for today's video. First, what we're going to do is a three-point thoracic spine rotation. So we're going to come down onto the floor, onto the hands and knees. I'm going to face this direction at first just so that you can see head on and then I'll also turn it 90 degrees so you can see from the side. So we want to set up in a four point stance or quadruped stance, making sure the hands are under the shoulders, the knees are under the hips. From here you're going to take one hand and gently place it behind your head and neck. When taking your elbow, you're going to rotate down, pointing the elbow towards the other arm and then rotating up towards the ceiling. Nice and slow here, we're gonna do 10 repetitions. Make sure that you stay within a comfortable range of motion. If anything hurts, then stop, or just limit the range of motion so that it's comfortable for you. And the idea with this movement is that we're rotating the torso and that thoracic cage along the spine. Think of your spine like an axle on, on a car. And we're rotating around. I'm going to pause for a second here. I'm going to turn 90 degrees so you can see from the side. Again, setting up my hands under the shoulders, my knees under the hip. I'm going to take the other arm now, place it behind the head and neck, just resting here. We're not grabbing the head and neck. We're not creating any tension up here. We're nice, new, nice and neutral with that head and neck as well. And then rotating down, double to the arm, and rotating up. Again, staying within a comfortable range of motion. We're going to do 10 repetitions on each side. There's three, four, five, Once you get the hang of this, you can also start to time the movement with your breathing. Inhaling as you come down, exhaling as you come up. One more. And relax. Great job. Our next exercise is a cat-cow, and this is something that may be familiar to a lot of you. It's certainly very common in yoga, Pilates practices, and a lot of other mobility classes as well. We're going to stay in this four-point stance, so no change. 
with our setup, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And from here, we're going to round the spine up towards the ceiling. And as you do this, you want to push through the shoulders, almost as if you're rounding your upper back. You can tuck the chin just a little bit. And then dropping down and really thinking about that middle part of our spine, that, that thoracic cage dropping towards the floor. And if you are familiar with this movement, you'll know that it's actually very good to time this with your breathing as well. Exhaling as we round the spine up. And then relaxing down. You can lift the head and the chin a little bit. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, rounding up. And we'll just go through this motion for five more repetitions. Really thinking about focusing on the middle part of our spine, the middle part of our back. One more, dropping towards the floor, focusing on that middle part of our spine and rounding up, pushing through the shoulders, exhaling, squeezing the stomach, tucking the chin, and relax. Great job, everyone. So for our last mobility movement for today, we're going to be using a foam roller. Now, this is something that you can find pretty much anywhere. Uh, it's a pretty common piece of fitness gear. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive if you'd like to purchase one yourself. Uh, really useful tool. And this is gonna basically act as a manual therapy or massage tool basically that we can use on ourselves. So in particular, as you guessed it today, we're gonna use this on the thoracic spine itself. So, so we're gonna set the foam roller right here, right behind us. And using your hands for support, you're going to lean back until you feel the pressure of that foam roller against the middle part of your back. And we're going to let ourselves lean over that foam roller just a little bit so it stays in place. And then from here, you can see that I'm starting with that foam roller at the bottom part of that thoracic section of my spine. So from here, I'm going to cross my arms in front of my chest. I'm going to very easily and slowly lift my hips up off the floor. And nice and slowly, I'm going to roll myself down towards my feet, which moves the foam roller higher onto my shoulders, up onto my upper back. And I'm going to focus the foam roller on this section of my spine, slowly coming out and down the spine. You can see this roll, rolling towards my head, and then rolling back down towards my feet. So this is how we're going to introduce this foam roller technique. Never used one before. It's a great tool to help loosen up the muscles. It presses against those muscles. It uses our own body weight as a massage tool, basically. You have full control of the pressure. If this pressure is too much, you can place your hands on the floor. You can also drop your hips, leave your hips on the floor and work within a smaller range of motion. So that way you can lessen the, lessen the pressure that you feel in your back. So that's the first variation for foam rolling the thoracic part of our spine. For something a little more advanced, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna set up in the same way, but instead of having our arms crossed, we're gonna lift the arms straight out in front of the chest and pointing straight towards the ceiling. And just reaching up Going through that same range of motion, rolling the spine, pushing ourselves towards the head, getting to the bottom part of that middle spine, and then rolling towards the feet, moving that foam roller up onto the shoulders. And you'll be able to tell what part of your back is tight, what part of it is sore. 
feel free to linger on those areas. If you hit those spots that feel, where it feels kind of good. A lot of us are familiar with that good kind of hurt, with that pressure if we've ever gotten a uh, massage before, this will feel fairly similar. Feel free to linger on those spots and take your time. Something to be wary of, just a note, is that the neck muscles tend to get tired. So if you do find that the neck muscles get tired, it's absolutely acceptable to support the head and neck. Take the time to reposition your feet if you need to. Feel free to find that comfortable position. So that way you can take advantage of this mobility exercise. All right. Now, for our final and kind of an advanced section or advanced option for foam rolling the thoracic spine is the same exact setup. So sitting right directly in front of the foam roller here, leaning back, feeling that pressure, okay? And then instead of having the arms, so we started with the arms crossed over, and then we went to the arms straight up towards the ceiling. Now we're gonna be reaching the arms overhead. Now again, this is advanced. This is gonna create a little more pressure um, against the foam roller. And again, if you find that your neck muscles get tired and you need a break, take a break, okay? As always, stay within a comfortable range of motion. If anything is too uncomfortable, don't do it, all right? So we're gonna start off by lifting the hips first, Reaching the arms up, and then nice and slow, I'm going to raise those arms overhead, extending my body. And right away, you'll feel that increased pressure against the back muscles, against the spine. And then very slowly, controlling that motion with our feet and our legs. Rolling down towards the feet, and then rolling up towards the head, so that foam roller moves along the spine. Nice and slow here. Right up onto the shoulders. Again, you'll feel all those areas in your spine. They're tight. You'll feel those muscles pressing against the foam roller, working out all those tight areas. You may experience a few cracks in the back. You might feel your spine popping a little bit. That's totally normal. Again, as long as it's not painful, you're good to go. So with each of these motions, we'll come back to the original one, crossing the arms in front of the chest, or again, supporting the head and neck. Spending about 30 seconds to a minute on each section, section of the body. So just the thoracic spine alone, spending about 30 seconds to a minute on just that area. And then in the coming weeks, we'll be discussing other areas of the body in which we'll spend the same amount of time on those muscles and loosening up those areas. So, and that was our first Monday Mobility class. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Again, my name is Benjamin Ludwig. I'm a health and wellness coach here at Maine General. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact me at 207-621-7577 or feel free to leave comments in the section below. Thanks again and have a great day.